Hello, this is Lindsay. Happy weekend. Today I have some fun things to share with you. I am going to shirk responsibility and have some fun this weekend. Not really shirk because I am caught up with what I need to do, but when I woke up this morning I thought, what needs to get done and what do I need to do? And then I thought, you know, I really want to work on some new journals and um, I have plenty of time to, to get stuff done next week. And I thought I would take a break this weekend and have some fun making some journals that have been in my head for a little while. And I thought I would share some of that fun with all of you because I don't want to leave you out. So I came up with a sale, a promotion, freebies, and a game that we can do. So number one, the sale. Everything in my shop is 10% off this weekend. So that's just a little boost, a little thank you to all of you. There's quite a few things in there, so have fun. And second, I did something like this around Easter. It was a lot of fun, um, and I thought I would do it again. If you order any physical order this weekend, so that is, um, you know, a journal, ephemera pack, anything that is actually mailed to you, not digital, I will tuck in a tassel. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it may be this one or it may be a different one. This is the one I made as an example, but I will tuck in a tassel with a garment pin so you can clip this on one of your journals. It's removable. Um, I will tuck that in free to your order, any physical order. And then um, any digital order is going to be a buy one, get one type of a sale. So any digital order that you make, um, it's not... It's not like if you buy four, you get four free. Um, it's every digital order. So if you buy four, you get one free. If you buy one, you get one free. If you buy two, you get one free, if that makes sense. So pretty much you're going to make your digital order. And then in the notes section, you're going to tell me um, or send me a conversation on Etsy after you place the order. Either way, which digital item or kit you want free and I will message you the link to download that for free. I thought that would be fun. And of course, if you order a mixture of physical and digital, you will get the best of both worlds. Now, these little cards, we'll talk about these. These are um, vintage vocabulary cards. I believe they're from around 1980. Um, these are just some of them. I have a bunch. They're so much fun to tuck into journals and um, they have the definition on the back. So this is gonna be part of the game. Um, I have to go to a craft store this weekend, the Hobby Lobby Michaels, something like that. And there are four items, craft items or supplies that I need to purchase. So when you place an order, any order, uh, physical, well, any physical order, because this would be mailed, um, if you have, digital. We'll talk about that in a minute. But any physical order, comment in the notes section what you think I'm going to buy. Um, you can list up to four things since I have four things. And for each item that you are correct, you will get one of these um, vintage vocabulary cards tucked in your order. If by perchance, which you would have to be a mind reader, if you guessed all four, I will make you a traveler's notebook journal and slip it in there. I just thought this was a really fun game. I mean, what do you think I'm going to be buying this weekend? So they're, they're all craft supplies, but some of them aren't exactly what you would think. They're not all necessarily going to be used in a journal, but they're somehow used in a journal in my, um, just my whole business. So I really, really doubt you'll guess all of them. I think one or two, a lot of you will get. The other two, I don't think so. But it's a good challenge. So then if you're just a digital order and you want to participate in this, then you can also um, write that down. And I will send some of the vintage botanical images. I have like over a hundred of them. So you'll get um, a vintage botanical image for each one you guess correct. And if you get all four correct, you will get the entire collection, which is um, well over a hundred images. So I thought this would just be a whole lot of fun. And I will write all this down in the description box below too, just so that you can read over that if you had any, uh, you didn't have to watch the video all over again. 
But um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about, I mean, if you want to stay, this is the end of all the good stuff. Now I'm just rambling. So if you want to stay and listen to me ramble, then by all means, stay. Otherwise, um, the shop link is down below. Go make your purchase, make your guess, and let's have some fun this weekend. Okay, so here's some, um, just want to tell you about some of the things I'm thinking about uh, that I want to play with this weekend. So I have been pinning on Pinterest um, so many vintage uh, public domain uh, photos and images. Um, you know, I really need to clean my Pinterest up so that I have some good Pinterest boards uh, for all of you. Um, I don't have any Pinterest that I would want to share. It's just a mess of everything. But I need to start a business Pinterest and pin some things that you can use in your journals because I just see so many comments these days of, can I use this? Can I use that? Can I use this? And, uh, you know, I really, there is a way to know if you can use something or not. Um, and I want to come up with a chart a freebie uh, for all of you guys. It may take me a while to put it together, but there's a way to know so that you don't have to guess and you don't have to be uh, worried when somebody else says, that's not true. You, you can actually go by the law. There are some times when it's gray and you have to make the best decision you can. But um, anyway, there's a lot of just um, things out there that you can use. So these vintage photos, um, I have so many of them and, and some of them, they just really stand out to me. They are screaming to have a journal made with them. And I've made journals before where I put a vintage photo on or a print of a photo on the front. And there's something about the personality of that photo that just kind of dictates the way the journal is going to go. So um, I have a few of those I want to use. I want to pick through. I want to use some. And um, also, I've seen a couple different YouTubers, and um, the one I'm thinking of right now is Wendy from Wendy's Journal Adventure. She, she is so lovely. She is such a lovely person, and her ideas, I don't know, they make me feel all, like, warm and happy inside. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, Sometimes she'll put definitions on the front of her journal and she'll use definitions from like an old dictionary that she has. And I've been uh, collecting beautiful words and definitions that I want to put on the front of some of my journals. So I'm thinking about pairing some definitions with some photos and then I'm trying to decide what size, like I'm thinking traveler's notebook size. I might do a couple different sizes. I don't know. I just want to play and have fun. And if I don't finish it all this weekend, that's fine because... It's just for fun. Next week, I need to film um, the April junk journal project with me, the three coordinating mini junk journals with tassels. Um, if you've not purchased your kit for that yet, um, you'll want to go to my shop and purchase that. And I'm going to film that t tutorial so that we can make those together. And then I also need to finalize all my plans for the May junk journal project with me so that... Um, you guys can get that purchased and have your supplies for when I film in May. So those are the big things for next week, of course, getting orders out. Um, I have several orders that need to get out next week. So anyway, I guess that's all I have to say for now. Uh, good luck in guessing my craft items that I need to buy. And um, I hope you enjoy the tassels I make, you guys. All right. Have a wonderful day.